Okay, let's look at cropping an image to improve composition. We'll file open to load the cropping composition JPG. So we touch the touch the plus sign up the top. Now these files already have downloaded, they're on the cloud, and there we go. So we need cropping composition.jpg. So you'll see this is not a raw file anymore. That was the previous chapter. So let's open that one up. And there we have the image on the screen. Let me select that a little bit or go back to that one and pull it in so we can see the whole image. There we go. From the tools panel, select the crop tool. Now remember the tools panels on the left hand side. There's the crop tool. It's like a square with a line through it. Just there. Select the crop tool. Drag the bottom handle upwards until the subject is balanced evenly between the grid lines. So the wing is up the top and the bottom grid line is just below the rock's curve. So we drag that up and it's about there. Would you say that's balanced evenly? That's more like it. The main body of the bird is in that center rectangle. Drag the left ed edge handle to the right until the subject is underneath the intersecting grid line. There's the intersecting grid line. That's about there. Just going through its beak. From the context toolbar, click the apply to commit the crop. And you can see that's down here. Unconstrained. Click apply. Now, that's what it looks like. You can uncrop your image later in your session or in any new session by using Document Unclip Canvas. And remember, your composition always looks best when your subject faces into the centre of your image. Well, there's the centre of the image about there. And I guess you could say that the subject, which obviously is the bird, is kind of facing into the centre of the image. And that's all there is to that one. That's cropping an image to improve composition. Let's hop out of there. You can see it's an RGB file. 